Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Big Grizz. Uh, uh, Big Dummy's not here, so uh, I'm going to take this time and to talk to you out there in uh, YouTube land. Uh, you know, since he's got this 3D printer, uh, Big Dummy's been kind of spending most of the time printing stuff for his friends. Uh, guys like, you know, Jose and uh, Brad Foxworthy, and, which is great. I mean, getting new friends is, is all good. Um, but he's been kind of neglecting, uh, you know, doing anything for me. So, uh, I've been kind of pissed at him. And for the past, like, four days, uh, he's been talking about doing stuff for me and, you know, making it, it all better. Uh, and you know something? He did. Uh, he's been designing. He's been printing. He's been just going crazy. I do not look like the same rig I did. Uh, like the other day, like it's it's crazy. Uh, like right now, I'll show you. I got some bling on the front, little uh, Texas Longhorn, go Texas. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna like, do a little tour in the truck. So uh, let's give it a spin, shall we? Let's see what's going on. Well, you guys. As you can see, he's added some boxes to the top. I'm pretty sure uh, he's going to, you know, when he gets back, I'm pretty sure he's going to do a video on everything. But, you guys, I mean, this looks great. I feel great. There's just, there's no words. Like, look at those boxes. Look at that. You know, he's got clips on the side of me over here. Uh... He's printed up some stuff. You can see it. I'll let him explain that when he gets back. Uh, but those boxes are beautiful, guys. I love those boxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now coming around the other side. Look at that. Look at that. Gotta love it. He's uh, 3D printed up a little uh, shovel holder and a little axe holder. You guys, uh, he might be mad that I'm talking to you, but I don't care. Um. He ain't here, like I said, so, uh, yeah, let's do some talking, shall we? <laughs> all right, all right, uh, I know he's been printing, like, tools and stuff, um, but I, obviously I can't show you, because uh, I think they're in the box, I don't know, whatever, uh, but anyway, I'm pretty damn sure when he gets back, he, he will do a video, he was talking about it, uh, Anyways, oh, wait, wait a second. Damn it. I think he's here. Shit. Okay, guys. Big Grizz out. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Tracker the Human RC. Uh, you guys, I've uh, I've been printing like crazy. Uh, I know we're a bit close because i got a small space and uh, I want to turn it around here in a bit in the camera and uh, show you what I've been doing. But I've been printing up a storm. Um, I've been treating Big Grizz uh, like he should be treated. Uh, I've just been going crazy and printing him up and making him look even, uh, you know, tougher and uh, more redneck than he already was. So, you guys, uh, without further ado, this is going to be kind of a long one. I've been, like I said, I've done some pretty cool things. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? All right, guys. Start it off. So the Texas Longhorns, I thought they would look cool. They would look cool. Yep. And they do. I did the detail work myself. It's with a pen. I can't do any painting. That's uh, Mama's department, so that's the paint booth. It's open. Uh, you will see some stuff. Um, guys, look at this. Let's get to the boxes first, shall we? Um, you guys, these boxes are phenomenal. I found them on uh, Yegi. Uh, uh, it, it's, it was four needles uh, pinned in the back. Uh, I literally took the needles on either side. Um, 
of the box right here. There's a pin hole on the other side, and it goes right through. So I took two needles, um, went and sunk them up to the eyes, and then just side cut them. A little hot glue, and done. But anyway, guys, uh, storage box. Um, and they're also a cooler box, too. So um, I've been printing up stuff to put in the boxes. So I've got uh, some little hooks. I printed up they're in there um, that's what these guys are hanging from on the side you'll see in a bit um, but let's uh, maybe let's uh, put some stuff in that box shall we so you'll see what I've been printing uh, you don't want to go anywhere when you're out in the bush at all without a spare battery look at that yeah so that's in the box um, also in there is an extra, you don't want to go anywhere without an extra axe handle, um, you know, because, you, you know, when you're splitting wood, you just never know what's going to happen, and you might have to, you know, you might have to defend yourself one day, you never know rednecks out there and stuff, uh, anyway, so that's one box, um, there's some other miscellaneous thing in here, but let's move on to the toolbox, shall we? Um, now, pardon me, I don't have my garage set up, guys, because, um, well, uh, nobody's really here to do it right now for me. Um, they got to bring it over, I got to set it up, and that's a pain in my ass. Anyway, guys, so, all my tools are black and silver, so I got my ball peen, it's in the toolbox, uh, my ratchet in the toolbox uh, my driver in the toolbox whoop whoop uh, my WD eh, in the toolbox I'm gonna paint that blue I'll get mama to paint that blue eventually and I got three different size uh, box and wrenches here I'll get one up close so you guys can kind of see it. it's hard for me to hold stuff but there you go. Okay. And uh, for protection. Just for protection. Uh, I printed up a couple uh, magnums. Bear stoppers. Put that in the box. And there's another one. Put that in the box. See, the drivers of this vehicle, guys, don't need that. Yeah, it's Iron Man and Captain America. But... The guys who I originally wanted to drive this vehicle from day one um, wasn't wrestlers. Um, I wanted Jonah Hex. And if you guys ever see the, the series Westworld, Ed Harris, the character um, that Ed Harris plays, um, they have characters out. Uh, and that's those are the guys I originally wanted to drive from like day one from my first visions was that uh, but anyway um because this truck is now turned into it just i mean the guys look good in it but the truck just doesn't suit the avengers man it just oh it's big grizz it's it's a cowboy truck it's a redneck truck it's what i am right this is this truck is basically me screaming um i also printed up pin you guys know what that's for that's your ground pin basically your pin anchor um and i got these little brackets i printed up oh i'm leaning forward guys oh there we go and it literally locks in place All right so i got my my rope i made there for pulling out i got the chain up here just an extra i got the little my little tiny sorry guys uh, oh, come on. Uh, my little extra uh, winch pull if I need. That's tucked up in this little cage. Now, you know, I always... Uh, I always had visions of having, you know, more stuff up there. And I bought that little cage at the top. It was on sale. I thought, yeah, I'm going to get it because I just wanted a different look for the truck. Um, we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh but I also printed up a jack bumper mount. Let's see if you guys can see this or not. 
I'll back you up a bit here. There we go. There you go. Uh, it just mounts. Literally, I just drilled right through, left about a half inch or a quarter inch inside this half inch bracket. It's meant to be on the wall in the shop. And I just took the, uh, the bumper screw out, the 12 mil, and I just put a flathead 14 mil in and just bored out so it actually countersank into that. And it, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the Darth Maul head. Uh, actually, Mama found that today when she was uh, out in the yard. I don't know where it's from, who's it's from, but it was just the head. So I just mounted it there because it's black and red, and I, you know, I'm a I'm a Star Wars fan too. Um, so yeah, you can see there's a shovel. I talked about that already. A uh, little shovel holder, a uh, little axe holder that's 3D printed. Um, yeah, like. Almost everything here is 3D printed, guys. Obviously, you know what it would be. Um, but now, the, the crown jewel, guys. The crown jewel of what I've been doing. Now, get back to the rack. Now, I wanted... I wanted a bigger rack, but... <laughs> that sounds funny. All the guys want a bigger rack. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, sorry. Whoa, bad. Um, so... I was humming and hawing and thinking, and I'm like, what am I going to do? Do I take that one off? And, you know, because I just want to add more to the truck, more realistic. So I got to designing, and guys, I am so proud of what came out because it was my first attempt. And man, it, uh, I'm just going to show you. <clears throat> Here we go. I designed it, it literally clips on like this let me get closer guys Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Ah. turn it this way a bit I need to see what I'm doing whoops whoops ah. it locks into the rack here And it just locks into this one here and it literally locks in place it doesn't go anywhere look at that like so now i've got extra cargo space um for things that i thought you know because i printed stuff out and i was thinking well where am i going to put all this crap what am i going to do um and so you know eight hours later well like three hours of designing that and then uh, it was just a, seven hours and 48 minutes or something for print. So I let it print last night and lo and behold this morning, bingo, bango, uh, Bob's your uncle. Actually, no, Bob's my brother. True story. Anyway, guys, I gotta have to, I have to show you what I've done. I'm just freaking. Okay. So if you're out camping, um, a lot of these, you know, it's always good to have some power, right? So you guys, uh, I did the silver work. Um, with a pen because it's a little bit easier I can kind of anyway all the painting the red stuff is mama in the paint booth here we go a <laughs> uh, little uh, Jenny like how cool is that I've got a smile on my face it's it's crazy uh, you guys okay <laughs> now it's gonna get good like look, look at the back of that thing too like look it is just insane. That is gorgeous. Oh, man. Uh, and that's old school generator. Nowadays, you don't have the big bars around it. That's all about holding it, uh, you know, carrying it around. They're heavy. The newer ones are much lighter. But I'm old school. And everything on this truck is old school, guys. Uh, anyway. So, you're out camping. Yeah, you sure you have an axe? Okay, trees come down. Yeah. If it's anything over, you know. 12 and it's going to be a nightmare to get off the road if it's locked in you can't pull it off with your winch so you're stuck so what did i do uh, i went and i printed dun, 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 guys not one <laughs> but two but guys here's the kicker here is the ultimate kicker. You ready for this? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> now that's how I used to always haul my saws. Just like that. I got an under storage space here so I can go, oh, when we're out there, instead of getting a fire going, we'll just grab the Coleman stove. We'll stick it in there. Put the Jenny back in. You guys, this rack literally is locked in. It is insane. It is insane. And I guess I can also take the propane bottle, which should get painted green eventually, and I'll stick it on this side. Oh man, you guys, I am so stoked. Uh, I need, I'm going to get out and get some video done tonight. I'm going to go out for sure. I know I was talking about it, uh, but the weather's been really bad. And plus, the girls go to bed like 9.30, and it doesn't get dark until like really like quarter after 10. Uh, and I can't get outside by myself because of the damn cats. That's the reason. If anyone else to know why I can't get out, if nobody's there to stop the cat, the young one, the old one, I can just yell at it, and it's fine. But the young one is a pain in my ass. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm loving what I've done. I don't know if you guys love it but i i absolutely love it um but i'm not done i i've done you know me and my cameras i love to get um footage now i'm gonna drop you down here for a second now you'll see this here it's gonna i'm just using this for demonstration um i should have two zaps on there but what this is guys is i always like to get as, as many camera shots as i can um, so what I've done is I've made, sorry, give me a second here. Oh, you got a hand that's shaky as hell. There we go. Oh, sorry guys. It's, it's really hard to do this with only one hand because you got, there we go. Can it go on? Anyway. Um, it's in inch increments. Um, I even printed out a pin. The pin only goes in one way. Um, it goes in sideways. Um, now, because I'm not close to it, I can't see the hole. But anyway, you guys get the idea of what this is. Um, so when I'm getting angle shots, I can come out to wherever I want. Hole's almost there. Anyway, it don't matter. Um, so I can come out and stretch it out as far as I want. I can turn this wherever I want. Um, so I can get different angles. This is the beauty. Now, if I wanted to go higher, um, I printed out another one of these boxes, but I added an extra block on the bottom, a three-quarter inch, so it's going to bring it up even higher. Yeah, so what I can do, guys, is my front shots, looking at the driver or whatever I want, um, and then on the back side... I can just put it in upside down, you know, mount that however, and then run this in, have the camera mounted upside down, and I can get wide out shots up to about there. Whoops, shit, sorry guys, I, it's so hard. Um, I can get really wide angle shots is basically what I'm saying. Whew, oh, the leaning forward's killing me. Anyway. So, yes, that's what I've been up to, guys. I haven't been slacking. Um, I've been just having fun. So, yeah. Hey, guys, I've been trying to get footage during the day on the inside of this damn vehicle. Uh, I don't know. The glare on that window is brutal. At night, it, it gets better, but during the day, it's tough. Is there, any, is there any suggestions out there for me? Do I just take the window out? Do I have to order a brand new one and take one out? Like, I don't know how to do any of that shit. Uh, but if you guys have any suggestions for me on that, please let me know. Because I so want to get some footage of, you know, the inside. Because I've lit up the dash um, on the uh, GRC Enduro uh, interior. So, anyway, guys. Yeah. I Happy, 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 happy. Happy, happy, happy. Can't be any happier. I'm so happy those boxes turned out so well, guys. Um, yeah. Anyway, love the generator. God. 
All right, guys. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to be getting rigged up and heading out here soon. Uh, so, yeah. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, I'm so stoked. And, and, and there's going to be more to come. I'm not, I'm not done. Uh, but anyway, there was something else I wanted to touch base on, but I don't remember now. It, no matter. I, I don't have a life. I just sit around all day anyway. Uh, yeah. Love lots. Keep it real. Track her out. Bye.